everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. We are here for your word, O King of Glory. We are here to learn. We are here to forgive. In Jesus' mighty name, I, see, I pray. Thank you, everyone. Okay. It is all about forgiveness today. Uh, there is uh, steps for forgiveness in another YouTube we have talked about. But today I've realized forgiveness is touching everywhere. When we talk about getting unstuck, we need to forgive. When we want to start to trust again, we need to forgive. When we want to develop uh, relationships and uh, the relationship skills, we need to forgive. That's three. When we just want to be successful, we need to have healthy relationship and being leaders, we need to forgive. So, <laughs> I realized that forgiveness is key and it, it has been key in my life. Yes, I had to forgive. But there is this question. How would you know you're forgiven? Okay, that is a song by my, uh, Matthew West talking about forgiveness. Where a lady forgave the man who killed her daughter. The driving under influence and then accident and the lady died and the two friends. So this lady went, the woman went to the prison and told the offender that she has forgiven. And it made her feel better because she was going down in depression. That's her story. Now, how would you know that you are forgiven even if you don't go to the person to tell them I've forgiven you? The first thing, when you can speak of the offense from the point of reference than the point of pain. Point of reference is talking about the issue, the incident, an example. Talking about my divorce. I'm talking about, about the act, the problem, the issue, or depression. I'm not talking about anybody. And I'm able to talk about it freely, happy. The pain is not there. But I've not forgotten. For reference, that means you have not forgotten. But you can talk about it. You are free to talk about it from that point of reference. But not a point of pain. A point of pain is like, ah, he has done this, da, 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 da. And then the emotions come, you cry, you, it's very hard to talk about it. That is when it is still. So when you can still talk about, reference the incident. Second, when the revenge, payback, retaliation or becoming, is becoming no issue for you. Wishing the past, you, you, when anything happens, abuse, physical, sexual, anything, divorce, that negative thought that comes to your head when you are depressed always is, you don't wish the person well. You want to revenge. You want them to not feel good. So when you reach a point that it is not the case, you don't think of the person or that issue turning negative and you are wishing the person best, then you know you are forgiven. When I wish the best for him and his new wife, I talk about it, there is no, there is no emotion, I'm forgiven. I don't mind what, where they have gone. Uh -huh. That is it. Number three. 
when you have stopped hiding behind of saying I have let it go but you are burying all those pain and all those bitter bitterness inside let me just tell you something this point is very very true let's say you it has just happened like the depression you are getting out of it but then you are now happy you can still go to work but there is that hidden part of you that resent who, that is bitter about whatever happened you can say uh -huh, i have forgiven him but what my eyes and my body is saying is telling the person looking at me mm -mm. this one is talking but the whole body and your mind is not there is that bitterness still inside buried in so when there is no buried pain there is no you can truly say i've forgiven 15 years oh lord even if i was dumb as a dumbbell it's wrong letting go and letting the pain and solving it is required and it mature out of that suffering because um when you have not forgiven you are the one suffering took me two years start the healing properly healed so i would say 13 years healed okay so there is no nothing buried in there is nothing buried in bitterness and everything wishing them well number four you can know that you are forgiven when you can fully accept that god loves all of us even the offender yes <laughs> that is the fourth one you have to believe that that person who abused you that person who did this anything who could stole your money that relative who took all the money in the in the name of a business and then left with all the money yeah if you know and you understand fully and accept that god loves all of us provides sun for all of us rain for all of us provision for all of us life for all of us love from all sorts side for all of us including the offender then you have forgiven and uh, why am i saying this because everyone is trying to look at forgiveness and then thinking i've not forgotten yes forgetting is a different thing that's why we can refer reference it but not feel the pain so but if it is still holding you as a hostage if unforgiveness bitterness resentment is still holding you a hostage then you have not forgiven okay if you see the person and there is that emotional reaction which is not good yes those are the buried issues buried pain that is still there yes i did experience that you feel like not seeing the person but with time when you work on it you have to the better part of the recovery of forgiveness was looking back to myself and forgiving me first more of it it was like 80 percent i had to forgive myself because it was 
those thoughts that were coming i am not this i have did this i didn't do this i wounded it i this this i did it yeah that is all me the negative thoughts come to you when you are mad and depressed and unforgiving and resentful about you more than the other person Maybe 20% was coming, this is done, this is done, this but 80% of my experience, I'm not talking of anybody's experience, my experience was turning the, the pointing finger to myself in the thoughts that were keeping on, on going. So it was holding me a hostage. A solid of six months which made me even to lose my job with TSC it was serious yes and I didn't see it I didn't even mind I'm a time conscious person I wasn't even minding the time is passing I'm not reporting that is what depression can do for you and unforgiveness. You, your mind is focused on something else than even your life. You're not seeing your life. So if you forgive, you will be back to yourself. And that is why some people say, I like dancing and yeah, because now I love myself. Yeah. <laughs> Every day, I appreciate God for bringing me here and making me me. Every day, I give thanksgiving to God for the day, for just being alive and focusing. Remember the self-talk in the mirror? Yeah. Brings me back. And voila! Out of all those four, I realized I have all of them. So I've forgiven. I've forgiven. And thank you. Subscribe and remember the Ripra Chopa. Next Tuesday at 10, live YouTube channel and Facebook. God bless. See you then. Bye.